Hey guys, it's Kezin. Welcome to the 100 subscribers special. Yay! Yay! Thanks everyone for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. I actually never thought I would even get to 100. So let's keep it rolling. And uh, again, thank you very much. So in this video, we're going to be talking about Pality Clicky items. And we're just going to start a classic and work our way down. If there's something I missed um, that I figure out later, I will make sure to add it to the list on the website. So just check the website for the, la for the latest updates and let's get started. So the first item we have here is Amulet of Necropotence. This is just a uh, right click skeleton clicky. It's an instant cast, so it's good against the spells. Uh, next we have Fearsome Shield. Um, this is a really good shield. You can actually wear this as a shield itself, but it also has an aura of battle clicky, which would give you some attack and some regen. It's kind of a low priority if you're not actually going to wear it, but it is something you can pick up. Uh, J Boots, faster run speed. Everybody knows this. No brainer. Pegasus Feather Cloak. You can use this for a levitate item. Um, good luck getting it. Um, it's not an easy farm, but if you need levitate, this is a nice option. Shield the Immaculate will give you instant cast cure disease. This is good for a long time. I'd actually highly recommend uh, farming this one out. Uh, Shrek and Goblin Skull Earrings. Just a right click attack. Um, you can use this. Uh, is an instant cast against the spell. Moving on to Kunark, we have Blazing Van Braces. This is an instant cast Shield of Flame. You can cast it on anybody. Blood Orchid Katana is a right click Sow Sword. You can cast the Sow the Sow from this item on anyone. You don't. It's not self only. So this is the best option um, for Paladins generally uh, for a Sow item. There is a better one in Eldon, but we'll talk about that later. Next we have the entire deep water set. Let me see if I can zoom out here so you can get this whole thing on the screen. So you see every single one of these items has a different clicking and some of them are better than others. Uh, the legs will give you strength. The deep water breastplate will give you symbol of Pizarn, which is, or Pinzim, Pinzim. This will give you some uh, symbol for like health, like hit points. Uh, the gloves will give you cancel magic. Probably not really that important because the cast time is seven seconds. It's kind of long. The helm will give you daring, which will increase your, increase your hit points. That's a nice one. Uh, the boots will give you endure magic. You know, not necessarily, not necessary, but decent. Uh, the bracer will give you a stun. You probably won't be using this since you have instant cast stuns. Maybe, maybe you will. In some situations, I'm not like a pallet expert or anything. But if you need that, you can pick those up. And lastly, deep water van braces will give you a right click soothe uh, with a seven second cast time. Again, that cast time is kind of long, but it might be useful for Paladins. I, I don't know um, exactly what spells they get at low levels, but if you need to Soothe, you can get it from there. Uh, Defender of the Faithful Heart. This is uh, from the newer Kunark era quest. Like, I think they were released in 2017 or something like that. Uh, I'll give you a Primal Essence, which is a 20 to all melee stats that you can click on anyone, and including level 1, so this is a nice pickup. Uh, Regal Band of Bathazed. This will give you a right click damage shield for 25 points. Um, it requires a lot of charge faction, but you will only get five charges out of this. But you can recharge it at, uh, at the turn at the zone in guy in char in Charduck. So um, this is a completely optional item here. Uh, Soul Fire is actually part of the Paladin 1.0 epic, and it'll give you five casts of uh, instant cast complete heal. I don't think you can recharge this one. You can maybe do the quest again. I'm not sure, but that's a neat little clicky there. That's unique to Paladins. Uh, next, we have Cloak of Thorns. Uh, this will give you a four-point damage shield, kind of low priority. Eye Patch of Plunder is a quest. It will give you 20% haste. Um, you can pick this up if you decide that it's helpful for you. Not necessary. Uh, Girdle of Living Thorns is from Toon Air, but it gives you AC and a damage shield buff, so that's kind of nice. It's a nice tank item. Triplated Golden Hackle Hammer will give you right-click arc shielding. It's like a 0.1 second cast time, so it's basically instant cast. Flowers of Functionality, this will give you 50 to all resists, uh, depending on which flower you have. Each one does a school of resists. Uh, next is Polymorph Wand Forest Fairy. This shows up in the Daybreak store sometime between Vilius and Pop. I listed under Vilius because I haven't confirmed yet, but I think it comes out in either Luckland or Pop. Luckland would be my guess. But if you want to right click uh, levitate, this is actually a good alternative to the Pegasus Cloak since this is a lot easier to get. You just spend some points. Uh, next, we have Ring of Day Frost Bane Frost Reaver the fourth. This will give you right click regen, attack rating, and damage shield. Completely optional, but it is a nice ring and arrow. Uh, Rula's Chromatic Ring is kind of a mini Dane ring. Uh, it only does five regen and five attack. 
Uh, this is also a quest. You can pick that up if you don't get their Dane Ring. Completely optional. Uh, Rune Protector's, Protector's Breastplate is the class quest breastplate. will give you right click Shield of Words, which is like an AC buff. Uh, this is optional too. Uh, you can do either the Thurgan, Thurgadin, Kale, or Sky Shrine versions of the quest. Wave Crasher is a 20% magic slow. It also has a dot on it when it procs. Um, it's not an actual clicky, but it's a proc. I, I, but I thought it was worth mentioning if you want to slow. And also you can get Will Sapper, which is the same thing, only it does a 35% slow, so it's better. Moving on to Luckland, we have Belt of Marvelous Visions. This will give you 30% haste, 50 stamina. Again, it's up to you whether you decide that you need this or not, but this is a pretty nice haste clicky. This is probably the best self haste I think a Paladin can get up until Eldon. I don't think there's a better one until Gates of Discord, but it could be mistaken, um, at least for Paladins. Uh, moving on to the bracelet, we, a bracelet of the Shadow Hive. This will give you uh, right click shrink. You can cast this on anybody in your group, and it's only one second cast time. Next, we have Breastplate of the Void. I don't know, this is on the shielding line. I don't know if Paladins have a shield. Like kind of like clerics do where clerics get armor of the z lot i'm not a paladin expert but if you do want to pick this up you can it's going to give you two, 225 health and 40 cold resist and magic resist uh cloudy steel mask this is a right click invisibility however it's 15 second cast time so it's kind of a toy but if you really don't have any other way to invis like you don't have potions or anything you can pick this up if you want but pretty low priority uh, next we have Crystallized Serpent Eye. We have four, this will give you four to damage shield. Completely optional. Uh, the next one is a proc. This is Divine Hammer of Const Consternation. And this is good for Rampage tanking. This is like a must have for all Paladins. Uh, it's going to proc Divine Aura uh, when you melee with it. So definitely pick this one up. Next we have Dusty Sorez Worker Patch. This is optional for Paladins. Um, if, this will give you a 170 range throwing item. So if you, if you like to have throwing items, you can get this if you don't want to use your spells. Next we have Close of Warding. This is completely optional. It's uh, resistance to magic. It give you 50 all resist, or I'm sorry, 50 to magic resist. Next we have Orb of the Sky. I'm not sure if this stacks with other Paladin procs. Again, I don't, I'm, I don't play Paladin, so I'm not super familiar with them. I tried looking it up and it looks like it, it might actually stack with the other stun procs that Paladins get, but uh, don't quote me on that. But this will give you a little stun proc. It lasts 10 minutes. Uh, it's a buff that lasts 10 minutes. Uh, next we have Ring of Resistance. This will give you 10 to all resist in the form of an AA. Completely optional, low priority. Uh, we have Shield of Mental Fortitude. Um, this will give you 250 to your max mana. You don't have to get this, but it is nice to have. And it's also a pretty good shield in air. Single Earring of Veracity is going to give you right click Acumen. It's a pretty long quest. Again, another low, call, low priority optional item and then these last two items here these are just self sal boots um, this one you have to do a pretty long quest and kill Kadi Shah this one is just a drop off of Lord Seer um, this, most people just farm out Lord Seer because it's really easy um, but if you want to get one of these two I recommend just going for this one is going to be your uh, safe bet here moving on to Planes of Power we have Band of Primordial Energy this will give you an a AC buff in terms of AA definitely want to pick this one up uh, Bangle of Disease Warding, just to give you right-click resist disease. Um, you can pick this. This is a quest out of Planet of Disease. Um, completely, completely optional here if you want to get that one. Black, Black Flame Sphere, just to give you a right-click remove greater curse. Uh, this is a really good item for Paladins. I recommend picking this one up. Next we have Celestial Cloak. Give you a right-click 5 mana and hit point regen. This is really good um, to help me. Paladins lack some flowing thought in Planes of Power, so you can pick this one up and get some extra mana regen. Club of Slime is optional. Uh, this is going to proc a ice base, a cold base slow, 10% uh, cold slow. Again, it's not a clicky, it's a proc, but this is good on like Emperor Sazura, um, so you can actually slow the Emperor. Next, we have Cloak of Retribution. This will give you some damage shield. It's a 20 point damage shield. Um, it's, it's an optional item. If you want the damage shield, pick it up. Uh, next we have Dis Disciples of War Gauntlets. This is a pretty useful clicky here. Um, it comes from the Temple of Kazik Thal 2.0, so like after the revamp. It's going to give you right click, invisibility versus undead, so that's kind of nice. Uh, next we have Earring of Celestial Energies, 20 all resists, completely optional. I have Dreams, is a 400 max mana clicky. 
Uh, again, this is optional as well, but it is nice to have extra mana. Uh, it gives it to you in the form of an AA grant. Uh, Girdle of Intense Durability. This is a 15 point damage shield. Um, this is a pretty good clicky to get, and this belt is fairly common, so you, you can pick this one up. Next, we have uh, the two, there's two items from the uh, Ornate class quests in Planes of Power. The first one is the legs, which will give you a right click Pyoas Might. This is a nice little um, buff that will give you the chance to proc a stun, so that's really nice. You should definitely get that one. And also, you want to get the breastplate. This is going to heal curses diseases and poisons so it's gonna i think it's gonna i think it does 20 of poison and disease and five of curse if i remember properly so you're definitely going to want to pick that one up that's a nice one next we have prismatic ring of resistance this is going to give you some extra uh, resist in ac in the form of an aa you want to pick that one up as well next we have silver hoop of speed this is more of an optional item um this has right click over haste on it and as we all know, Paladins don't do a whole lot of damage, but if you want some overhaste or maybe you have a surplus of DKP, you can pick this up, get 5% overhaste. Uh, next we have the, the Binden Corn Sada, Corn Enchilada. This is gonna give you a right click haste or gate to Plane of Knowledge. Um, so if you wanna bind somewhere else, you can gate the Plane of Knowledge using this. It does use a reagent. It costs a little bit less than like a regular gate potion does. But I would recommend getting this for all melee. And lastly, we have Veil of the Inferno. This is just give you 180 extra health in the form of an AA. Moving on to Eldon, there's just two items we're going to call out here. The first one is Cloak of the Fleeting Foot. This is a right click Sal. This is a pretty good Paladin item um, since Paladins don't get Sal by default. Um, you can cast this on other players. It only has a three second cast time, so it's really nice cloak to have. And lastly, we have Vanquisher's Moss Threaded Van Braces. Um, this is a right click Ward of Knife. Now, Ward of Knife, if I remember, it is a buff that will give you a chance to proc a uh, direct damage. So, this is a nice little handy clicky to have as well. But that's pretty much everything. Um, if this was helpful, please make sure to like the video and also please subscribe to the channel. And thank you to the 100 people who already did subscribe. And if you make sure you check out the website for the latest updates. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.